Good afternoon, listeners. You're uh, listening to Edge Radio, and I'm your host for the next uh, hour or so. My name's CC Thornley, and I have my special guests here uh, on location in the lovely Waterworks Reserve, uh, Sam, Stan, and Ben, from Tasmania's Paranormal. Paranormal Tasmania? How do I say it? Tasmania's Paranormal Experiences. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So, look, what is it you guys do? Well, pretty, from the name, you can probably guess that we do stuff to do with paranormal, and we go around the state investigating locations, or well-known haunted locations, like, for example, Willow Court, that's one of our sort of big ones. We Willow, Willow off, Court? Yeah, yeah, up in Norfolk. Okay. That's yep. one of our sort of, sort of big ones. Um, we also do, like, private residences, residences and help people out with their paranormal problems and issues, oh, really? and if they want answers, like, we, so we do a whole range of stuff. Okay. Um, we do have a page, as probably a lot of people have seen, and we promote um, other teams, talk to them. Um, we also share our own stuff, and people can come onto the page and talk about anything paranormal, or even go through our own stuff that we share with the public and say, oh yeah, I think this is whatever. And it's just about creating a nice paranormal community where we all can share um, their own experiences and thoughts on paranormal topics. Right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this is the Facebook page you're talking yeah, about. The yeah, the Facebook page. Okay, yeah. So look, what constitutes paranormal? Uh, that's a very broad topic. Um, well, obviously you've got ghosts, but also UFOs as well. Anything right. that is beyond explanation. Very hard to answer that in a, a you know a definite kind of right. way. You know, it's so it's such a broader topic, and there's never any like um, answer. It's, it's such a broad topic. There's not one answer. There's always many. Like, I've read so many theories on particular right. things. Yeah, as and you do. As you do, yeah. You've got to look up this sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, and think which one you believe in or which one you want to use. You do. You guys do a lot of tours and, and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, we've done tours. And they seem yeah. really exciting. So you advertise those on your Facebook page. Yeah, and, we, and... we uh, started off doing this little our, our sort of stuff with um, TMH, so Tasmania's Most Haunted. Right. And they run tours up at ah, uh, okay. Little Court area. So we started right. off, that's why we started off up there, and then we kind of expanded from there. They helped us out and right. sort of helped us on our sort of paranormal journey kind awesome. of thing. Yeah. How long have you been doing it for? I've been doing it for about a year now. Okay. Full on, but yeah, yeah. we've had... Even though our own before we started the group, we've always had a passion for it, but yeah. we just didn't form the group. Right. And you know, it's just our own private stuff that we used to talk about and share among ourselves. Right. So you mentioned uh, you got. If, uh, so one aspect is the is the touring, but another aspect, people can actually get in touch with you if they're having yeah, an issue. Yeah. So with they the can, paranormal. Yeah. Have you had a lot of these calls? We've had a couple. Um, it's sort of it's ramped up over the past probably about three or so months so I sp- obviously okay. I suppose the page is getting bigger and people are right. knowing that there's a it's not a question of the season of ghosts as a <laughs> no, no they're, 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 they're here all year round unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> so but yeah we've had a few interesting cases like uh, right. I think and um, I think the most recent one that we can publicly share was the haunted store in Norfolk like it's an old haunted store and that was quite okay. a cool case that, that we yeah. kind of had um, we brought on one of our uh, new sort of members, Brad, right. and he's our, our sort of psychic medium, and right, we okay. picked up on a few things up there. But yeah, we people can ask us, "Oh, do they need if they need help?" Right. And they ask us, "Oh, do you um, do you help me? Can you help me with this problem, or can you get me answers in this way?" Right. So yeah, people can get in contact us through the Facebook page or whatever. And uh, yeah. so you mentioned that the, the the paranormal is a quite a wide yeah, uh, it's board. it's a massive. <laughs> Do you get calls about UFOs or ghosts or and not, not so much UFOs? Yeah. Um, we haven't. Had, I don't think we've had any really. But we've had. We've talked about it with um, other people just right. casually. Yeah. Uh, like when we do go investigations, ask all the similar questions. But right. not so many. Not so much on the UFOs. I think too phobic handles right. that sort of side. Okay. Of it. So how do you tell when you so, say you get a phone call? How do you tell someone's coming in with with just uh, plumbing or, or rats or or draft in the house as oh. opposed to a genuine unexplainable event? You would, Oh, we'll, we normally just ask them, we ask them what they think's happening, and then we either say, well, oh, have you checked this well, through the messages or right. the phone call? So you have a checklist. Yeah, of... we have like, you know, we, you know, is it air conditioning, is it cars? It, there's, right. there's things you can logically right. come up with. It. What do you have that could cause this problem? If, there's, if they can't think of anything and we yeah. have gone through our little checklist, we actually have to go in there and just check it out. And it could just be for a few hours and or whatever specified time they think um, Right. We, we can do it inside yeah, okay. the day, night, whatever's best for them. We yeah. will go in and check it out for them if it's with our, our equipment. What sort of results have you got um, from your investigations? Well, we've got we've got tons of EMF readings, so that's electromagnetic fields. So that uses like electromagnetic field. And so, are you, and you're using now. I see a lot of these um, research teams or investigating teams. They have a lot of similar equipment. What are you using yeah. to pick up your EMF? 
We're using K2s okay. and rook meters, and also we got recently got a mil meter. So they're they're these different types of devices that do similar things or the same thing. So right. mil meter, for example, would do EMF, but also do temperature. Yeah. And you might wonder why 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 would you want that for? You know. Yeah. It's well, we want it because that it's it does two things at the same time. You're getting temperature and you're getting EMF. Now, ghosts have said to always put off either color, you know yeah the say, classic oh, tale like, of, yeah the classic tale of oh it's it cold, cold in here yeah. i've got a shiver up my neck that sort of yeah. thing um when you want to when you're doing these sort of investigations it's really good to have as much information as want to collect as much data as possible to say that this is happening right you know is there a temperature change is it getting five degrees cooler or yeah. five degrees hotter now that can be yeah. both ways and if you're getting a five degrees change and either sort of increase or decrease as well as an EMF uh, reading in any sort of way, that's, that's it's just adding to, the oh, there's something strange that's happening here. It shouldn't be doing right. that. There should not be a five degree increase or decrease if yeah. you're in an cl- enclosed room. So it's not from a, a knowledge that ghosts will spike the thing. It's just getting data recorded. It's getting data. But right. like you could also ask the spirits, can you please interact with it? It's like having right. a conversation okay. like you, you and I are having now. Yeah. Like I could say, Ben, could you please touch this device in my hand? Can you make it spike for me? And you might or may not do that. And then we might suddenly get an EMF reading that says, I don't know, 0.3 or something, right. and that de- decreases the temperature. Right. So it's like, a, that's how we like to conduct our stuff. So Right, okay. Yeah. And what other sort of, so there's EMF, and is there anything other well, else that you do? You've got the visual, like we've yeah. got just the normal, you know, cameras, okay. um, where we would have a, I don't know, a, a SLR camera or something, we just take three minimum snapshot, uh, snaps in a row sort of thing, and that's sort of in order to uh, limit contamination, so, you know, dust and right. that sort of thing. Yeah. Things that look like orbs, orbs um, yes. moisture, dirt, yeah. So, you know, we normally do three in a row. Uh, right. There's also got video footage. So it's the normal cameras. And that's all, obviously in night vision. So we can right. see in the dark. Because we right. don't always carry torches on us. Yeah. Just in case we accidentally uh, okay. glare. You know, when you get glare on the camera. Yeah. It's just to limit as much as possible. Obviously, right. we do carry torches on us. Because sometimes yeah. it get pretty dangerous <laughs> at these locations. Right. Like okay. going downstairs. Yeah. And, the re- most recent investigation was the Gaty Theatre, and it's a kind of okay. old building, and had these stairs, and we just couldn't do it with the night vision cameras going down because right. the, the stairs would bend like that. <laughs> so it's like a okay. bit dangerous, better get torches out. But we, it's just all about um, limiting contamination as much as possible. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, besides using the night vision cameras and stuff like that, um, we do have uh, DVRs, right? Um, and we use them to catch EVPs. That's what they're for. So EVP stands for Electronic Voice Phenomena. Right. And, but this can also be captured through like cameras as well and okay. phones mm. and things like that. And that's just voices that come through that we cannot hear. So EVP, um, now electric voice phenomena is when you just leave the tape running and... Yeah, and I ask questions. So you, yeah. just, you just whoop, put it down somewhere, make sure you're not shuffling too much, put it down in a... And you actually hear a voice. Yeah, you hear, you hear a voice. So right. you might ask, um, you know, is anyone here with me today? And you might... Normally, we wait for about 10 or so seconds just to leave a bit of time for them to respond because it can take time. Right. And you might get neither nothing. Right. Which is not so always... It's, it's, it's like fishing. Like, it's like fishing, yeah. yeah. Right. you gotta, you got to... And what we've, what we've been trying to really um, research about uh, what the, what's the best time to do investigations, EV full moons, you know, all, all the solar flare, you know, everything yeah. to do with the environment, what's, what's the right. ground, what's underneath the ground, anything okay. geological that could influence what the investigation so but yeah as you said it is like fishing most of the time because yeah. it's hard to get all that data yeah. for investigations but yeah it's uh if you don't always get capture anything you don't always capture anything we can't make them communicate right. with us unfortunately are you doing this because you believe in ghosts or are you doing this to find out if you believe in ghosts are you doing this well, to prove ghosts to yourself pro- probably i kind of already do believe in them i yeah. don't but we don't go into investigations going oh, i believe in the ghosts we want to prove they exist we go in there saying we need to debunk we need, we need to deconstruct it. Right. So we don't use we don't always use the uh, instruments that we have to prove that they exist. We use them to debunk that they're there. So there might be wiring in the wall, EMF right. meter that yeah. will pick up on the wiring. Right. There might be some might be um we might be someone might be accidentally transmitting their radio. Okay. You, or or their phones on like not on flight mode because phones can set off uh, yep. EMF detectors. Sure. So we're always there to, using those instruments to debunk as well. So it's about deconstructing it. So if you hear a noise in the distance, you and it's, it's a bump, you know, you don't get, oh, it's a ghost, you've got yeah. to go investigate there, it could be a window, it could be a door, drafts, you know, Animal. anything. Animal. It could be anything, the wind, the uh, the rain or something, yeah. especially in the Gaty Theatre investigation, there was a lot of wind, yeah, right. a, a lot of rain, um, and that, you know, that 
that was, now you did that just recently. When we yeah, had that yeah, did that on we Saturday. Coming. Right, yeah. okay. Saturday, Sunday. Ah, that was that could have been fun. It was. It oh, was, it was fun, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was Pretty good. Long was... drive, very scenic. Right. But, uh, but it'll be you know, a bit tired at the, when we got there. We were like a bit sleepy. But when we did the investigation, we all kind of woke up. Yeah. Um, right. So all, all, it was three of us in this messy building all alone kind of thing. Right. Like it, was, yeah. it was huge. It was like yeah. a theatre. And then like a hotel built on top mm. of it. So we okay. had like the downstairs, which was like the theatre area. Then we had the change rooms downstairs from that. And then you'd go upstairs to the overseeing balcony. And then the hotel and like the dining room areas. Right. As yeah, well as cool. like okay. attached to the building. It's still opening and, and runs business or is it? It doesn't uh, run business, but they have a, th I think it's open. Yeah, the theatre still to, runs as a business. Yeah, yeah, mm. the theatre area They have does. shows and things in there. But silent movies still. Yeah. Oh, really? A, wow. it's, a cool, it's a cool place. Yeah. yeah, yeah. right. Okay. We should go visit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm intrigued <laughs> now. I'm intrigued. Uh, and that's in Launceston, isn't it? No, it's Z in West Coast. Z oh, even further. Yeah, okay. Really out there. Really exotic. I really need to go and see this. Yeah. 